Hey Visor, so uh, what are we doing? So, um, we just have some ideas about how to help people overcome this hard time of COVID-19 and um, we just want to share some of these ideas with these people and hopefully it will help people to um, calm themselves and get through this tough time um, and that's the objective of this the, the, this conversation is not about coaching or training anything and we're not really professional it's just some ideas that we would like to share and and help our friends and families and other people so yeah so what's the um, what's what's like the most important thing that people should do if if they feel afraid of uh, the current situation that's going on so um we have crisis going on but uh, it, it, the most important thing is just to realize um, that you are here and you are safe being really mindful about the position that you are in right whether you are sick or you are not sick uh, what's the best way for you to respond to it um, and really not getting into that frantic mode and um, getting yourself more worried and more fearful and that would just make your body to produce more cortisol and it just decreases your immune system so it doesn't really help you to be more frantic and more fearful and, 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 and getting worried and worried because that would make your body to debilitate and, and it's harder for you to recover um, if you get sick and if you don't get sick, uh, it, it's harder for you to see clearly what's the best thing for you to do right now to overcome this crisis. Um, and so let's say even if, say if you are sick right now, um, whether it's because of the virus or not because of the virus, what would be the best thing for you to respond to it? right um in a much proper way instead of just telling yourself you get like so worried and you're like oh i'm gonna die i'm gonna die um so the more you give your tell your, yourself that the more you it, it, it's gonna make you be more fearful um because that go into your subconscious right and that's basically that's what you're gonna attract into your body um and it, because it it get you into a fearful mode so it's your body would just produce more cortisol so it's, it's harder for your body to recover right um and and to boost your immune system so instead of getting frantic um and to get out of that mindset you you first need to be mindful and aware that okay i am sick right now um what can i do to get myself better what can i do to get myself to heal instead of like being so afraid that I'm going to die, right? So you are still alive now. That's the most important thing. You are still alive. You're sick, but you are still alive right now. Um, so that that's the first thing, and be grateful for that. So, um, so be grateful that you still on Earth right now. You still have a chance to to live, right? So instead of focus on I'm going to die, focus on. Um, I'm still living right now and what else can I do to to um, to get healthier um, and and when you store when you change you look at the the just change your mindset and look at it in a different objective um, then um, you will get calmer and also and also doing meditation as well also help you to be calm in your mind and from there you have a better clarity um what are you gonna do to get healthier eat better food take more rest do meditation so you can calm your mind so you can sleep better and the better your sleep is the easier the, the better for your for your body to heal and to uh, recover right so that's the most important thing because the statistic they say that's 80 percent chance of people will get recovered by themselves um with this virus thing right so there's nothing to be there's no reason to be in that fearful mode because that's not going to help your body um so and, and also 
being first of all to just to be aware of that where you are right now and be be grateful for that that will also help you to calm your mind and and realize that you are actually being more pleasant than than the worst outcome of what you could have been right um and and from there just ask yourself what can i do to to heal faster uh, what can i do to not to help other people around me to be calm as well because if if I get into that fearful mode um, then my family is not going to be calm either right because they're, they're gonna get worried about me and everyone's gonna get sick right um, so so it is all start from you first to be to be calm and to have that clarity and not to be afraid and, and really and, and really ask yourself. I know that it is hard, but being mindful is the first step to get there, right? Um, and ask yourself, what what can you do to get better? Eat better food, sleep better, take more vitamins, take more supplements, um, and get everyone in your family to do the same as well. And and for those that are being sick, uh, I think for changing this mindset will really help you knowing that this fear. That we have right now is just about uh, our, our survival brain that telling us well we have to run or we have to protect ourselves because we are so afraid of dying right because th th this is basically our brain telling us but it's not really us um, so to to be aware of that is the first thing and what would be the better way to respond from it instead of running away and being even more fearful um, what can we do um, so that's the first thing and what else um, yeah do you have any practical advice on how to stay calmer um, you know any any kind of meditation that people can take or uh, any kind of supplement as well that they can uh, that they can do, what kind of food, uh, things like those, or how so, to stay, you know, also yeah. um, productive, or how to help more people. So, uh, to calm your mind, uh, like I said, meditation is extremely effective, um, and there's so many proven studies on that to calm your mind, and I really recommend the Inside Tamil app. <laughs> there, there, there are tons of there are tons and tons of uh, meditations on on coronavirus right now. How to stay inside calm. inside timer? Inside timer, yeah. Um, I think, and there there's some many other apps as well. But inside timer is my favorite and to go app for learning about meditation. It's 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 really easy and it takes only like five minutes, ten minutes. Um, and and they have been releasing uh, meditations sp specifically for this uh, yeah. coronavirus thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a, a lot of really good meditations out there, and all kind of meditation. And if you even not familiar with meditations, and you don't even know how to do it, they guide you through it, um, and it's really really easy. You don't have to know everything about meditation or have practice. This is just for. Even for people just starting meditation, you can jump on that right now. Um, it's, I don't even have affiliate <laughs> with Inside Tamil, but I just love this app so much because it's changed my life, right? It, it changed everything, um, the way that I live my life. So I highly recommend it to people to, if you want to learn how to calm your mind, go on that. And it's not something that you have to go out to the market, right? And you don't have to go outside because you're being isolated right now. It's something you can do on your phone at home right now. Um, so that's super convenient. And it's also how meditation to to get yourself to 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 be better as well. Not just calming calming your mind, but actually being effective in healing your body and boost your immune system. So um, along with checking, uh, because meditation has been known to, uh, to, to help with, with um, dangerous diseases, right? Like uh, cancer and stuff. So, so it's, if that's the only tool 
for you to to help yourself right now why not get on it and it's not just calming your mind but it also has the benefits on your body on your physical body as well you don't have to be um, an expert of in advanced meditation to do it. it it's just something simple and easy and there are tons of different kinds of meditation that you can do um, so yeah i highly recommend this app <laughs> well, well if you like some other app you can also do that too right so it's just my personal favorite app because they have like, so many different kind of meditations and they have a lot of meditation on the current crisis right now that help people to stay calm and how to heal themselves um, and for for food and supplements normally i i don't really eat healthy so as um, not to eat a lot of food that would um, like heavy food that would um, take a lot of energy from your body then your because your body actually need the energy to recover right so it's a lot of healthy food that help to boost your immune system for me I like to do juice and I take supplements like vitamin D and vitamin C everything that Everything that you can basically find um, to help your to boost your immune system because that's, that's what, the most important thing. Yeah. What about uh, resting? Huh? What about resting? Like, uh, should people care about you know sleeping a lot? Uh, you should sleep a lot. Sleeping is so important for you to recover. If yeah, your body heal during sleep because um, you don't use as much energy when you're being active, right? So a lot of the, the energy in your body just focus on healing that part of your body is fighting the virus, right? So um, sleeping is so essential and, and because that's what meditation also helps with that as well because the, the calmer your mind is, the easier for you to sleep and you don't have to worry about it because when you worry, your mind getting so active, right? So when you do the meditation, it calms your mind, so it's easier for you to sleep and so when you sleep better, your body will heal faster as well. Well, yeah, thank you. Um, we hope this helps a lot of people. Um, I know we, we're all, you know, together going through this, the same situation and um, you know, hopefully the tips that you are giving us are of help. And if you have any any question or any suggestion, oh, you can. We got into the, the situation where people, if people don't get sick, yeah, and how can we help those uh, around us? So I want to get in touch with that as well. Yeah. Um, and so for people that are not sick, there's, no, there's really no reason to like be worried, right? There's even better reason not to be worried because there, then now there's a better reason not to be, uh, to, to be thankful, to be grateful that, oh, I'm not sick, I'm healthy right now. Uh, the virus doesn't touch me and I'm completely healthy and what, what can I do to, to help other people? Um, so if, if, for those that, taking care of the people that are being sick. Um, of course, the first thing again, not to be, not to be overly worried, right? The same thing, doing the meditation and stuff. And uh, of course, taking care of yourself as well and having uh, a better hygiene and being mindful um, to help you not being infected. And for those that who are not sick right now and worry about the economy that is going on, are uh, like, oh, I'm not sick, but then I worry that I, because everything is closed, the economy is down, we're losing a lot of stocks and we lose a lot of money and now we don't have jobs and there's even more things to worry about, right? And so, if we, so the, the more we get into it again, like if the more we worry, the more we reduce our immune system and if we don't get sick by the virus we may get sick by some other illnesses so um so instead of getting worried so what would be the best way to respond to it right so th this would be the the uh, a good time for us to look into ourselves right 
about our family situation and about our career and life choices too, right? Because we, if you don't have a job, you don't have anything to do. And instead of like worry about how to feed your family, um, how to take care of your family, first you have to stay calm um, before you can have that clarity, right? So really get in touch with yourself. And for those that who, okay, I, I, I only did my job just for the money and now I lose my job and I don't have the money, that's only the income. So that now th this would be a really good chance for you to get in touch with yourself and really um, have a deep look what would be a better way for me to find money that I can be independent of my employer. What would be, what is my gift right now? What is my, my strength that I can, um, that, that, that I can share with the world? And, what would be a better way for me to um, to work and to, to, to earn money while being independent and 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 have a much more fulfilling life instead of just working for money right now. And so if we getting um, in and so so when we have more clarity of that, this is really a good chance for us to reset our life in a different direction, right? Instead of going to the old pattern of um, a dysfunctional pattern in our career in, in, other, uh, in other aspects of our life, right? And if you have the family issues right now, um, instead of fighting with your family members, it, it, this would be a good time for us to have the, the, the step back to to look into the issues and what we can do better to reconnect with our families because we love them and we don't want them to get sick, right? So how can we heal from that? Um, so instead of getting into that fearful mode that, oh, everyone's getting sick, I'm gonna get sick as well. Um, so the more you think you're gonna get sick, the more you're gonna attract that into your life and it, it will eventually happen to you, right? So. Um, so yeah, and that, I, I think that would be a better way for for us to eventually move this crisis into uh, a, a a better way um, to get out of this economy. And if we all can really get in touch with ourselves and knowing what we can do right now to help the world and what we can do right now to make better income to support our family and to heal our like the wounds or the issues with you know, our, our family, we're gonna come out, out of it with knowing that um, we are better than what it used to be, right? We are stronger and now my family is here and now I have a better clarity how to, um, what to do with my career and, and um, how I can support my family and the world and everybody around me. Um, so yeah, so in, instead of getting into that fear, really set focus and the first thing is just to be grateful knowing that you're not sick right now, knowing that you're alive and you are healthy. Instead of isolate everyone around you, um, <laughs> being in friendly <laughs> with social distancing. Yes, you have to be responsible. You. Uh, and take care of yourself, uh, be responsible for yourself, and be responsible for other body to take care of yourself. But, uh, but that's the first thing to do, right? to be mindful and, and to ask yourself what's the better way to respond to it and how can you help others, how can you help yourself and how can you get out of this, like to help your, to yourself, your family and the world to get out of this and to be stronger and to be better than the world that it used to be instead of like being overly fearful um, what can we do to, to drive this forward and I, I think this, this mindset will help people to, to, to really have a, a, a step back and to, to think and to, to get focused and to be clear um, and how to get over this crisis and come out of it better. So, but other questions that we haven't touched on, but other things that we haven't touched on. That's, that's it? That's that, it? That, that's it, yeah.
hopefully, okay. yeah, hopefully this uh, this is useful for everyone and um, the world. Just some little tips from us, right? Yeah. <laughs> so through our this uh, discussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, the, um, the world needs humanity right now. So yeah. whenever you go to you know grocery shopping or whatever you do, like <laughs> yeah. there's 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 yeah. there's crazy people, you know, and. Seems like they are just doing it for themselves, and they are grabbing right. all kinds of, um, right. you know, things that other people would use yeah. for for their own uh, warehouses, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, your house becomes a yeah. warehouse now. So yeah. you know, if you can remain calm as well when whenever you go shopping, and just remember that we're, we're we are all humans, and we better behave like humans. Uh, yeah. You know. So that, that, that's why I think it's because we are all overly fearful when we just like, like it, it, it gets us to just anxiety of not knowing exactly what we're doing and all we, we actually it just fear, right? And we don't even know what, what, what we're doing right now is actually harming others as well. So that's the first thing that that's why being mindful and having a better clarity um, is so important for us, for our families, and for the world as well, and not doing, not, not being over frantic, and because the more you're doing that, um, that's the reason why we're in the quarantine right now, <laughs> that's the reason why the people who actually need the supplies um, don't even have it, because for, for the people who don't need it, it's just like over, uh, it, it's, it's too excessive, and if you're not sick, then there's no reason to be wrapping anything and leave it for those that who actually need it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully this helps, and this this uh, little conversation here uh, <laughs> is, is useful for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>